Hey guys, Johnny from JS Productions, and I'm here for my top 10 tips on how to edit good in your editing software. So the first thing you need is always pick less view songs. Like, some people always pick songs that are like, views a lot, like, I know a song, you know, um, Sale? Sale, that song, the dubstep one? That's used in every single skiing video, motocross, or everything I've used. Don't use Sale. Second thing is, make sure it fits your clips well. Like, when you're putting the music in, like, so say you're filming like a really, like a, a skate video or a ski video and it's gotta be like rap music. Don't put like dubstep, only use dubstep if you have a GoPro. That's my, that's my rule. Dubstep equals GoPro, rap equals flat picture, flat um, camera, don't use a fisheye. I mean, unless you want to, I've seen some good videos with fisheye with rap music. But yeah, that's what I thought. Number three, sync your music to the needs of your clip. Like when you land a trick, it's like the drop, the, the bang apart. Don't have it when it's like, when you're like you mess up and it's like the drop and you like it's like an like an like a second off it does not sound good at all. The fourth thing is don't use fails. Put those things at the end. I have a lot of videos where I put my fails in the videos and I regret doing that. Don't do that. Put it the way end. Number five, always set your frame rate inside in your camera. Always if you're doing slow motion, do 60. If you're doing vlogging or uh, cinematography, do 24, 1080. But if you're when you go when you put the clips inside of your um, editing software. Put it at 720 or 1080 at 30 or 24, depends on what you want. Because if you do 60, it looks stupid. It, it, it looks kind of, just looks smooth and doesn't look good enough. Even though smooth, it looks good, but unless if you want to. I mean, it's all up to your decision. 30 just makes it fast motion look good and slow motion look good. It just, the transition is better than normal 60p in the editing software. And uh, sixth thing is use slow motion, but not much. Use it naturally, don't overuse it. Some people use it in a lot of their videos, like the whole entire time. I made that mistake once. Uh, Justin's skating video at uh, Ken Degor. <clears throat> I used a lot of slow motion. I probably should have more used like fast to slow. In my new um, Kong Gachero one, that was like 30 seconds long. I used fast to slow and it looked really good. That's what I used the 30p thing for. That's a good example of 30p filming. Um, some thing, don't reuse old clips. Unless if you're making a all the summer 2014, the best clips of 2014, you know, you can do that. That's that's what it's made for. But don't, if you're making a new video for someone, don't use real clips. I've done that, so I'm a hypocrite sometimes. You can use your old clips for certain times, but don't overuse them in like every single video. Like, some, I know a friend, I'm not going to name drop, but he's used the same clip over and over again in this, in this video. But I don't think he makes videos anymore, so. A thing, take your time, don't speed through and edit, because if you speed through, you're probably not going to do a good job. If you take your time, your brain's going to process and you're going to be able to create a better image for your audience or your subscribers, you know what I mean? Nine, make your clips stabilized, but not where it makes it look jelly. You know, like, sometimes in my videos, <clears throat> I made Justin the skate video, it's like 48 seconds. In the second shot, when it's like spinning off road, you can see it kind of like shaking. That's what I mean, don't let it happen, I wasn't paying attention. And the editing software looked fine, but I guess didn't work on YouTube, so when it starts to like jellyish, like you'll know what I mean, don't get rid of it and turn it down a little bit so it's perfectly fine. Because stabilization makes everything better. If you have a shaky image, you might as well just try it a little bit. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry you got a shaky image, but you can possibly, you can probably purchase a um, Steadicam. Those are pretty good. I have one, I have like Opeka, it's blue and black. It's not the Glycam. Glycam's good, but those are expensive. The last thing is have fun with it and don't get stressed about it. Because when I'm constantly making videos, I get stressed because I'm like, I gotta feel like I gotta post things. But don't get stressed, that's the, that's the worst thing to happen. If you get stressed, you start, start easing through and like really doing things fast, but don't do that. Think through, take your time, and just have fun. But yeah, this video's done because, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10. Uh, tips on making a good video or edit. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you an awesome day and peace out.